we got a great guest here because uh, I'm someone who's believed from the first day that the way we should have got after this pandemic and dealt with it and attacked it is never on defense, hiding in your home, but always on offense. Leave the economy open. Sweden left their economy open. Brazil left their economy open. Taiwan, South Korea, Japan left their economies open. And studies are proving that they have the same sickness and death rate as America. Why did we close the U.S. economy? Stupid! And I have found a great company right here in Las Vegas called Dr. Vita. And it's owned by a great friend of mine whose first name is Wayne, just like me. He's another Wayne. And whenever people meet us, they think it's funny because we're Wayne and Wayne. And we both love vitamins. He makes millions of dollars off vitamins. I just take them. I take 100 vitamin pills a day since I'm 16 years old. And it's always made me into a man of steel. You know, I'm super Jew. (laughs) I've always been super Jew because I take these vitamins. I feel like the man of steel. And I never get sick. And I love my vitamins. And vitamin C is my main weapon. And that's why I haven't had a common cold or the flu in 20 years. Uh, vitamin C is amazing, and probiotics are amazing, and vitamin D3 is amazing, and garlic's amazing, and I, I just love my vitamins, and they make me the person I am. They make me strong, and my immune system strong. So I never was scared about coronavirus, but I found a company that kind of borders all these stories, because they've remained open, and their employees get vitamins as part of their deal for working there, and they're all healthy, and they're productive, and the company's doing great. And I wanted you to hear about it because the way they treat their employees is so good. So uh, it's a friend of mine, Wayne, who owns Dr. Vita, but his COO is on the show. Ed Allen is the COO of Dr. Vita, and his company has never shut down during this terrible time, and they are doing fantastic. Ed Allen, welcome to the Wayne Allen Root Show. Thank you. That's a wonderful introduction. I really appreciate that. Well, you know what makes a wonderful introduction wonderful when it's the truth, and and I only tell the truth on this show. So, so listen, uh, I've never met you before, but obviously Wayne's a good friend of mine, and uh, I was just shocked when he started texting me that his employees are safe and they're healthy, and he's doing box office business, selling vitamins like crazy, and you guys never close. Tell us how you've managed to do all this. Give us a little synopsis of the story. Absolutely. Uh, one of the things that, as you know, Wayne likes to put, his people first. And one of the things is he's a big believer in what he does for a living. So he promotes vitamins among the workforce. And we have a free monthly vitamin allowance for everybody in the in the building. And, and when this uh, virus came about, Wayne said, I want everybody out there to get at least another couple of bottles of vitamin C. I want them to have echinacea. They need to be taking their multiple, their multivitamins. And that's the way we went about this from the get-go. Uh, as far as how we prepared the environment, that's what we feel like has maybe been the most successful part of our uh, of our approach. We make sure that our employees who have always been uh, appropriately fitted with PPE, uh, smocks, hairnets and beards, face masks, booties, the shoe coverings, and gloves, that's always been part of the process for us. So this was not a big leap for us to just really push forward on a couple of these other uh, uh, advancements in how we deal with ourselves in the workforce. A lot of education. Um, We have TV monitors and signs to remind our employees to wear their masks, to to wash their hands regularly, the two-minute rule, to use provided sanitation, sanitizer, which we have everywhere, Um, and take the sanitizer before and after using our fingerprint time reader if you cough or sneeze you can you know we've all heard these things Uh, sneeze into your elbow stay six feet apart Wayne advanced that and said he wanted us to stay six feet minimum 12 feet uh, when appropriate your Wayne let's make sure everybody knows it's your Wayne G we'll call him Wayne G not not this Wayne Wayne Root because otherwise my listeners will get confused it's not Wayne's business it's Wayne G's business a good friend of Wayne Root and uh, this is Ed Allen the COO of Dr. Vita and it's a big vitamin company one of the biggest online in the world and and, uh, Wayne G is a very special guy who runs it a great friend of mine we text each other probably 50 times a day and the way this interview came about is I said to Wayne G who owns Dr. Vita I said you know I I said from day one, this is what I said to him, Ed, you're, you're boss, you're the CEO, he's the boss. I said, hey, Wayne, 
I said from day one, all we had to do was take the at-risk groups, which is the older Americans and the really sick Americans and the people with cancer and the obese Americans and diabetes, and you take them and you protect them and you quarantine them, but let everybody else who's younger and healthy go to work. I mean, there's almost nobody. I just read another story. Nobody under 65. The law, the idea that you will die for this if you're under the age of 65 and you're healthy is almost zero. So therefore, everyone over 65 has to be protected in the sick have to be protected. Everybody else goes to work, but they wear masks, they wear gloves, they have social distancing, and we would have never had this problem, and the economy would be fine. And Wayne said, oh my God, that's basically what we do at my company. And that's how this interview came about. So that's how you got on the show, Ed. <laughs> well, that's great. You know, and we just took the, the good advice that we had been receiving, and uh, we like, when the temperature check piece came out, um, we, we took temperatures. We're now taking temperatures of people every day. So when they show up for work, you check their, you put that the non-touch thermometer basically in it without touching a single thing on a human being. It tells you what their temperature is, and if they're sick, you send them home. And if they're not, they could stay at work, right? That's exactly right. You know, Simple. I, I walk over into our our micro lab, and I and I say to the to the uh, micro lab manager, I say, okay, shoot me, you know. And he takes his little temperature gun, and and uh, I get my temperature and my okay, uh, okay to proceed today, kind of thing. <laughs> And you've got over 100 employees, correct? And only two of them have ever showed symptoms, and they both tested negative for coronavirus. But two out of 100 plus were sick, and, and that's it. And the rest of them have all been fantastic. It's just a great story. Tell us about it. Yes. Uh, you know, and in fact, the, the, two that, the two that were, they were suspected because they had, um, because they had a fever and they had one other symptom, um, a cough. However, neither one of them ever developed any respiratory issues. The one uh, employee I just found out today, um, both are back um, because they were not tested because Nevada didn't have the testing required. And only if you had the respiratory issue did you get right. tested. They didn't right. have it, so they didn't get tested in that regard. But she came back, um, and after a week, she, um, she ran a fever midday. So she went to see an urgent care, and they found a secondary infection, and that was the cause of, of her, her problem. It had nothing to do with coronavirus. The other person um, came back to us after the, the imposed 14-day quarantine, which we respect, and um, was perfectly healthy. And, and he's an older, an older person, too, so uh, no effects at all uh, there. And no, we have not had any... any um, any confirmed cases of coronavirus in the facility of 105 employees. And the other thing I was excited about was, you know, your, your boss and my friend Wayne G was telling me that you haven't had to cut anyone's hours. Everybody's employed. You've increased overtime pay and you're still hiring right now. If people are looking for work, uh, Dr. Vite is hiring in manufacturing, shipping and receiving. All true. Thank you. Yes, I appreciate that. We are hiring. We would love to have uh, some folks uh, come our way. We are we are operating with uh, heavy overtime because our the products, our immunity products and vitamins are are very much in demand right now. Sell it off the shelves, I'll bet. Vitamin C especially. Do you know, I, I go to Whole Foods and Sprouts, you know, and I shop in all the vitamin type of markets in Las Vegas. And I've been in, uh, you know, the, I live in the Summerlin area. So in the last few days, uh, over the weekend, I was both at Whole Foods and Sprouts. And you can't find vitamin C. It's not on the shelves. It is sold out every single time I go there, which is a testament to how the average person feels, even though the government is very anti-vitamins. People are buying vitamin C like magic because they all know that vitamin C builds your immune system. You're absolutely right. Uh, vitamin C is off the shelf. We are sourcing vitamin C every day. I mean, um, it, it sells out. We replenish it. I mean, if you need vitamin C, go to www.drvita.com and get our Nature's Lab vitamin C because we're, we are in and out of stock. That's true, but we are continuing to make it, uh, burning that overtime with our, with our workers here and making sure those bottles are available as soon as possible. To our All right, Ed Allen, the COO of Dr. Vita, and my great friend Wayne G. owns Dr. Vita. And it's drvita.com. And if you're looking for work, if anyone out there needs a job, that's the real reason I had you on the show. How do they contact you? Is it drvita.com to get a job? 
they can call us on um, on any of the. Just call my uh, my phone number right here. Um, we'll be happy to bring them in. Just look us up, Doctor Vita. You can you can also get to us by drvita.com. But if you're looking for a job and you all want right, to and Doctor Vita, we got to run. We'll catch you on the other side.